So welcome to our anti NVIDIA video. Anti NVIDIA video? What's that? Ain't no way, homie. That's our ARC 750 versus RX 6600. Well, we have done this comparison before and it was around 8 months ago. But within the time frame of 8 months, ARC 750 has deliberately pushed lot more updates and now we are gonna see that how it holds up against the RX 6600. Well, people again knock me or post in the group that Bhaiya, please, please make a video and tell me what GPU I should go for. I am really scratching my head to my each. So now we have to decide that which GPU gonna really, really make that things happen, good things happen. So I am Onurag, you are watching Techland Bangladesh, your destination for detailed and incisive GPU maramars. Let's go. First thing we have to mention about this GPU is the price. Well, RX 750, you can find it for 27,000 tech exactly. And RX 6600, it is now costing around 27,500 taka. So 500 taka more than the RX 750. As like our all other videos, I'm gonna put this two GPU spec on the screen. You can pause and see those spec. Now we are gonna talk about the test system we have included this GPU into. We have embedded our Ryzen 5 7500F along with the MSI Pro B650 MP motherboard, Kingston NV2 500GB SSD, Corsair DDR5 Vengeance 16GB 6000MHz DDR5 RAM along with the PSU of 550W and hey, that's it, that's the thing. Now we are gonna straight jump into our synthetic benchmark and as all you know that we always uh, do the benchmark in three categories. There's a synthetic, gaming and productivity. In those three segments, the, the GPU scores mode that takes the title into the home. So let's start with our synthetic benchmark. So in the case of synthetic benchmark, we started with our, as per our tradition, you all know, Geekbench 6 OpenCL system testing. In OpenCL system testing, we know that AMD has recently stopped their R&D, so there won't be a much of the score as we know. So now when we did the OpenCL system testing, we saw that ARC 750 has swept the floor clean with 33.6% improvement. When we stepped into Vulkan, there was not much any of difference. But when we stepped into MSI Combustor benchmarking system, we saw that ARC 750 was pushing 68 FPS, where 6600 was only pushing 36 FPS, which is a really bad score. Next again, when we uh, jumped into superposition benchmark in 1080p extreme preset, we saw that ARC 750 cleaned the floor again with 75.3% enhancement, which is really, really game changing synthetic benchmark scoring. And in last, when we put this GPU into 3D Mark Wildlife Time Spy system, which is a 4K DX12 based benchmark, and you all know our Puki GPU 750 likes DX12, DirectX12 very, very much. So when we completed the benchmark, we saw that there was almost 54.6% enhancement in performance in 3D Mark Wildlife. So greatly, we have to say, if we combine all the synthetic benchmark, ARC 750 is really, really heading the way with 50.4% average performance upgrade from 6600 which is a really really great thing now we have to shift into gaming benchmark and now let's see which gpu cleans the floor before starting the gaming benchmarks we have to clear one thing we have put all the games into the test of ultra preset or max preset available and we have uh, turned off the ray tracing system or uh, any upscaling method because we want the raw thing raw benchmark from the uh, to both of these gpus well, when we started the benchmark with our in-law of NVIDIA aka Cyberpunk 2077 in Ultra Preset, we saw that in average FPS, the ARC 750 is almost 21.3% ahead, which is a lot of um, performance upgrade considering the same price almost. Then when we shifted into Alan Wake 2, which is a system crushing game, I always say, in Alan Wake 2 in high preset, we saw that ARC 750 was pushing in average 40 FPS and 1% low 16 FPS and 6600 was pushing in average 38 FPS and 1% low only 8 FPS. There is certainly a 5.26% enhancement for ARC 750. Then when we stepped into the PS port Horizon Forbidden West in very high preset, we saw that in Horizon Forbidden West, the ARC 750 was behind. It was almost 12.757% behind from the RX 6600. Then when we moved on into another PS port game, that is Ghost of Tsushima. In Ghost of Tsushima, we again settled it into very high preset and we saw that ARC 750 was almost giving a 14% uplift from the RX 6600 in our test system. Then we moved it into Callisto protocol, the Callisto protocol. In Callisto protocol, when we finished the benchmark, we saw that ARC was heading the way with almost 4.2% enhancement in the performance. Next, we shift into the uh, Ubisoft's Watchdog Legion. In Watchdog Legion, when we benchmarked into Ultra Preset, we saw that 
ARC 750 was quite lagged behind with 4.61% of degrading performance and when we moved into the Spider-Man Miles Morales which is another PS4 game and very much favorite of mine, we saw that in very high preset ARC 750 was keeping the floor with 26.74% enhancement in performance which is a great thing I have must to say. Then we moved on into The Last of Us Part 1 which is another PS4 game and it is a very very heavy game I must have to say. When we finished the benchmark it has really been a bad reputation for non-optimization and it was very much unoptimized and our GPU reportedly struggled uh, to run the system but after a few patches and updates we saw that our GPU is really quite good performing but it was behind by 8.7% from RX 6600. In the last, we have played the God of War in the Ultra preset. God of War, when we played, we saw that ARC 750 was really, really performing 25.9% extra than 6600, which is quite a good margin, I must have to say. Now we have to talk about the cost per frame system. Those who don't know what cost per frame is, I must have to say again that cost per frame is a measurement from which you can get a rough idea of how much you have to pay to get a single unit of FPS. So. Uh, let's consider this situation that you have gone to a market and bought the ARC 750. If you bought the ARC 750 and if you play all the games in max preset, uh, omitting the ray tracing and upscaling performances, ARC 750 will give you 70.2 FPS in 70.6 FPS in average and it will cost you around 382 taka per FPS. And if things go vice versa and if you take the RX 6600, if you take the RX 6600, the RX 6600 will produce 64.8 FPS in average and it will cost around 424.38 taka in per FPS. So let's take our math scratch book and let's do some math. So if you buy the ARC 750, ARC 750 will give you 6 more FPS than RX 6600 in average but it will cost you 41.98 taka less or if you take the accountability of percentage in this again you will get straight 9% improvement in performance if you take the ARC 750 but it will cost you 9.9% less taka in the segment of this cost per frame. So definitely we can say that ARC 750 has really done a great great job and the driver update really really came very much handy and on the other hand RX 6600 is not performing so well because it has certainly reached its lifespan and the driver updates from AMD are not so quite helping it that much but ARC 750 has a really really clear headroom as we predicted 8 months back and it's really living up to its name. But the story doesn't end here, there is a, another situation which is quite disturbing for RX 6600. When we benchmarked the Horizon Forbidden West, God of War, Cyberpunk and Callisto Protocol, we saw that RX 660's hardware can't load the texture very fast as much as RX 750. And it's quite obvious because it comes with 128 bar speed width, it comes with 256 bar speed width and hardware brawl of RX 750 is really really quite much rather than the 6600 and we in practical scenario we are really watching this we are seeing that how the intense the game scenario becomes the the more struggle arc 660 has to go through for loading the texture or the shader of the face definitely the shader engine of rx660 is lagging behind as far as the games are getting more demanding we must have to say so we can say that we can really rely on the rx750 it has beaten rx660 in cost per frame segment and now the shader and texture engine which can really be a concerning issue if we are uh, thinking about gaming in future the future games will be definitely uh, more heavy as we have seen the black myth wukong that's a really really crushing game for the system now we have to talk about the productivity segment in productivity segment we didn't keep much of a test we just kept the uh, the Vinci result Puget system benchmark in Puget system benchmark when we did finish the benchmark we saw that in overall ARC 750 has pushed 1703 score and in GPU fit it was really quite higher than uh, 6600 which is which was 53 and ARC 750 is, is almost 82 which is a really really quite a gap and it's a open secret that not open secret it's a clear thing that arc 750 comes with better ray tracing architecture it has really really ray tracing cores on another hand 6600 we don't even call it ray tracing cores those are rt accelerators that are the name put by the amd 
uh, for this GPU. And now we have to talk about the AV1 performance. AV1 performance is really, really good in encoding system when people do export the videos and everything. And also we have to say about the hardware brawl again. It is really, really doing very well. And XCSS in upscaling method, it also doing a very, very good job. So this is the thing. This is our benchmark. In conclusion, we have to tell some things and let's put a conclusion to this video. In conclusion, I must have to say that I have been really impressed by Arc 750's development and improvement and Intel is really working hard uh, regarding their uh, patch and updates from their driver side. And I have to say that RX 6600 is quite a great GPU. It has good acceleration, good memory clock speed, but it is really falling behind because it's a GPU from 2021 or late 2021 and it has really reached its lifespan and the hardware uh, in built into this is not so really quite strong like 750 and 750 the good thing about 750 i have to say that intel will be continuing to deliver more update more patches to this gpu and there are still still much more of a headroom so those who do crack gaming uh, download cracks from various websites or torrents you have to uh, ensure one thing that you always keep the updated driver of arc 750 and you also have to download the latest patch so you can ensure the maximum performance from this gpu and arc 750 i can say in synthetic benchmark completely and highlighted the rx 6600 in gaming benchmark for the first time it has been really uh, doing great and in the productivity segment i don't think no one will take 6600 uh, whoever works in blender or whoever does video editing jobs we have seen in the project system that arcs and 50 also swept clean the floor so this is it this is our video if you like this video you can put a like to the like button and subscribe to the channel is a must i won't say this much more and you can do another thing that you can join tecolic bangladesh which is our facebook group i have put the link below in the description here we gossip about lots of things cpu gpu versus battles monitors ssd or there are a lot of tech stuff tech news every day for you guys so this is it. I'm Anurag signing out and definitely I'll catch you on the next one.